But Colton, before we get to the latest updates on what you're learning this morning, we need to set the table on what happened with Craig Fergus and why there are calls for him to leave his relatively new post. That's right, Marcy. He's only been in this position for two months, and it happened after a previous liberal speaker left in scandal, Anthony Rhoda. Now Greg Fergus took it. And at the times, there were concerns about the partisanship nature that he had. He was a, a very partisan person in the House of Commons. He was the parliamentary secretary to the prime minister. When he took the job, he said he wouldn't have any issues with partisanships. Come this weekend, though, there was a bit of an issue. He recorded a video in his speaker's office wearing his speaker's robes. And that video was talking about his relationship with Ontario interim liberal leader John Fraser, who was stepping down at the liberal leadership convention this past weekend. That video played at that convention, and it was hopped on by the opposition because you have a speaker in his speaker's role, in his speaker's robes, in his speaker's office, speaking at a a partisan convention and that breaks the impartiality that he is supposed to have and so the opposition is understandably upset about this they're calling for his resignation he apologized yesterday saying uh, it was a misjudgment saying he understands how it could be misconstrued as partisan but really he was just talking about a friend and, uh, and congratulating a friend on his tenure in that role uh, but that bears it asks questions of whether or not this was the right move. Uh, Greg Fergus yesterday said he thought this was going to be played in a much more intimate setting. He didn't intend for it to be played at the Liberal Leadership Convention, but it still begs the question of whether this was a good idea to do in his speaker's office, in his speaker's robes, at all, regardless of where the video was being played. You could still ask questions about his impartiality. Gotcha, okay, so what are you learning are the next steps. What happens now to, to the speaker? Right, so yesterday in the House, we saw the Conservatives and the NDP uh, and the Bloc all calling for varying levels of action. The Bloc calling for his resignation, the Conservatives also calling for his resignation, uh, but also moving to push this to a House committee that looks at the uh, compartment, uh, the, the comportment, I should say, and the way people behave in the House of Commons. The NDP have also pushed for that as well. So the Deputy Speaker is going to review those calls. He's going to decide whether what Greg Fergus did is bad enough that it needs to be sent to that committee. And and then following that, the committee would look at the actions as well, and they would determine what actions need to be taken to in order, one, that this doesn't happen again, and two, if there are any measures that need to be taken against the speaker. This morning, uh, the Liberals are really trying to crush this story. They're speaking on it only in French so that it's more difficult to get it broadcast and clippable, uh, but they're also saying, look, he apologized. This should be the end of it. You know, they, they really think uh, that this was a mistake, but that that apology should suffice. Colton, thanks for all that. We'll be watching for developments.